Well, thank you so much for joining me for this week's Dollar Tree Gold. It is on the Wet n Wild color icon, Walking on Eggshells Eyeshadow Trio. I've never tried this. This is supposed to be like a cult classic. It's supposed to be absolutely amazing. And it was at my local Dollar Tree, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. So, if you'd like to see me trying this on, swatches, and see if it's as good as pretty much everyone says, then please keep on watching. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell, bookmark my page, I upload a video every single day of the week, plus I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love for you to be able to come on back and watch whenever you would like to. So, like I said, I did pick this up at my local Dollar Tree, and this is in the old style of packaging. I'm pretty sure that's why it's at my Dollar Tree. Um, the newer packaging, it looks different than this. So... I'm super excited. This is supposed to be like amazing. I mean, it has been featured in magazines and stuff like that. It's supposed to be like the perfect eyeshadow trio. So let's do it. So crease resistant color. It's supposed to be super blendable and it's supposed to just give you a really super beautiful neutral eye. So I'm excited. Col uh, Wet n Wild is cruelty free. So that is always awesome. And their trios are really, really affordable. They're like $2.99. Um, but if I can get it for a dollar, that's even better. So, let's see here. So, weird. All the shades are shimmery. So, that's cool, I guess. So, here is the brow bone shade, crease, and eyelid. So, you can see they all have some shimmer. Sorry, I have some other swatches on my hand. But, there we go. I'm super excited. I am wearing some makeup. I don't have any eyeshadow on though, so we're just going to go ahead. We're going to give this a go, and I'm actually going to follow kind of how it's laid out here. So I'm going to go in, I think, with the eyelid shade first, which is this kind of really pretty kind of very light kind of pink shade. Very, very pretty. Ooh. It is really pretty. It is really, really soft. It is really blendable. Picks up great on a finger, which I personally like using shimmers that way, but... So yeah, that smoothed on just fine. Okay, so I think it's looking really pretty. It is opaque, but it's a light shade. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into the crease shade right here, and this one is shimmery too. I will give it a go. It might be one of those kind of satiny shades, like once it's on the lid or like on the eye, it's different. But, ooh, that is very pigmented, but in a good way, you know, it's not like hard to control. But some of my favorite YouTubers, I can't remember who like it's not like coming to mind but a lot of people really love this walking on eggshells little trio so I mean it is giving a really pretty very neutral eye and while it is shimmery in the pan there we go okay so while it is shimmery it's definitely not super overly shimmery shimmery on the eye but it's really pretty I'm not having fallout or like kick up is nice. Yeah, I mean it's blending beautifully. Hmm. So, so far I'm impressed. So it's really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Brow Bone shade, which this one is the most matte. It still has shimmer to it, but um, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, that is very, very pigmented. Tap off the excess. Put that right underneath the brow. Okay. a really really pretty um, kind of highlight shade I 
Okay, so I'm going to be using a chunky kind of pencil brush. I'm going to deep in, dip into the crease shade, and I'm going to get that smoked out a little bit on the lower lash line. Definitely with a more dense brush, it is packing on more color. Really pretty. It's definitely given like a very kind of Victoria's Secret kind of smoky eye. It's like a really nice shade of brown and I always just have a rough time with this funky eye. I don't know why. Okay. I mean, I think that's really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and pick up, I think, the brow bone shade and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my inner corner, kind of like my tear duct area. So that's the completed eye. I mean, it's really, really pretty. It's very neutral and it is really, really natural, but it did turn out really, really pretty. All the shades are slightly shimmery, um, even the, the crease shade is, but I mean, it is really pretty. It gives kind of a luminous kind of look to the eye. It, it does blend beautifully, very, very easily. I honestly can see why the Walking on Eggshells little trio is such a hit because a ton of people really do enjoy neutral shadows. Um, I'm personally more of a color type of gal, but this is a really, really beautiful little trio. Um, yeah, it's definitely a little bit different than what I'm used to. I'm not really used to putting like a, like a real shimmer in my crease. In the crease, it does kind of come off more of a more as a satin. It's not like super duper, like super duper metallic or anything like that. But everything does have shimmer in it. Um, it is really, really pigmented. So here's the crease shade, the brow bone, and the lid shade. Really, really pretty. I mean, it's a nice little trio, especially for a buck at the Dollar Tree. I mean. Yeah, I, I think this is really, really nice. Um, it does come with a little angled brush and a sponge tip. Um, these are definitely throwaway products for me, uh, little throwaway tools, but if you are traveling and or if you're going to be starting school or something and you just did need a very simple, basic um, eyeshadow trio, this is definitely one to definitely check out. Um, I will definitely continue to reach for it really beautiful little trio um and honestly if i do want like a very kind of neutral luminous eye look i would definitely this would be the thing i would reach for super easy um very small and compact if i did have like a little makeup little kit or something in my purse heck yeah i would definitely have this in here um yeah i i do like it i do see all the hype behind it i can see why so many people do love the wet and wild color icon walking on L eggshells trio really really beautiful it's definitely a dollar tree gold this was the only trio like selection that was at my local dollar tree kind of hoping they are going to be getting in um some more like different ones um because wet and wild does make some great eyeshadow and um, like I said, they are super affordable, but for a dollar, that's even better. So, yeah. I think the only reason why it's at Dollar Tree is because it is the old packaging. But formula is still absolutely the same. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, I, I do like it. And that's coming from someone that does not like neutral shades. So, yeah. The Walking on Eggshells is definitely a Dollar Tree gold. Um, but, yeah. Yay! Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's Dollar Tree gold you did please gonna go ahead and give this video a thumbs up also share it um, leave a comment down below 
Were you one of the ones that absolutely loved the Wet n Wild Color Icon Walking on Eggshells trio? Or were you kind of like me, you heard all the hype but never tried it? Well, if you've never tried it, maybe it's at your local Dollar Tree. Go check it out. Um, don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. I should have another video that should start playing here automatically, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around me. So yeah, let's hang out a little bit longer. I'll see you in a minute.